Hello, Jack. Jack Kamen, registered chaser with the Guild under the Bureau's High Crimes Division. Graduated from Stanfield, joined the Marines. His squad saw some action, a few top secret missions. The Lasiria Embassy hostage crisis in 92, the Albeda Airport takeover in 97. Earned himself three silver stars. Regular hero. And good at making corpses, as we've seen. It all begins to make sense. Later says he left the Marines and joined the Varigan City PD as a detective in the Homicide Division. Oh, this is interesting. You remember the kidnapping of the Minister of Transportation's daughter? Yes, Palgastini, wasn't it? I seem to recall they paid the ransom and found the girl murdered. It seems that Jack was in charge of the case at first, but got removed after a falling out with the department heads over strategy. According to the PD, Jack went rogue after that. They claimed his actions pushed the kidnappers into killing their hostage. He gets reprimanded, they even take him to court. He's found not guilty, but he still quits the department. After which the chasers snatch him up. So who's he chasing? And what does it have to do with our games? I'll have to crack the Bureau servers. Give me a moment. Look for something high stakes. Something put up by a celebrity. Something that would interest a man like Jack. There's over 30 bounties posted here. Which could it be? There. Naomi Ann Boris, the mayor's daughter. She's on the island. So, he's after the mayor's only child, huh? fue transferido ladrillo a ladrillo desde Zombikistán hasta Jefferson Island. No se dejaron nada, ni siquiera los zombies que lo habitaban. Esos cabrones están por todas partes y hace falta Dios y ayuda para acabar con ellos. Pues sí, este castillo está hasta arriba de monstruos asesinos. Allá que le va a costar salir de aquí de una piedra.
ain't much for a sport. But seeing as how y'all like hitting them little white things, I present to you, Bang Bang. <laughs> El desafío sangriento de Men Golf está disponible. Sigue las tres del mapa y a por ellos. Ese molino de agua produce una muerte y no queda como muy pocos objetos producen. Es otro ejemplo de lo que preocupa el medio ambiente allá. Eso es algo. Se le ve un poco de...
cambia el suelo y dale con el paso. Y mira cómo sale volando la cabeza. Coger bien el paso es fundamental. La práctica diaria os hará perfeccionar el swing y vuestro estilo de juego. O sea, que los cojáis y les arranquéis la cabeza con el palo de paso.
Tiene buena corte. Se podría dedicar a esto. Ya veo los titulares. Ex concursante de Death Watch. Huelga la motosierra para dedicarse al golf.
Sabes que leer no es lo mío. So, a target's in this castle, huh? Complete with facilities for getting medieval, no less. I can't decide whether that's really cool or really perverse. Maybe both. Mayor Boris is quite the real estate mogul. He had that castle brought over from Austria and renovated it to be a hotel. It was supposed to be open this Christmas. They were holding a private opening ceremony for A-listers the day the Death Watchers hit. The paparazzi were literally foaming at the mouth outside. But the mayor wasn't there. Oh, the hotel was his daughter Naomi's baby. She was the one throwing the party. She's still alive. I'm tapping into the same circuit the Death Watchers are using to run their game. Everyone but the rich and famous seem to be forced into playing, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they struck some kind of deal with game control? You think? Wouldn't there have been some communication with the mayor? Probably. I guess we'll know for sure when I get her. Hello, P. 
hips, players, and pain purveyors. How's everybody doing out there? I don't give a fuck. Sorry to interrupt the mayhem, but there's a very special person I'd like to introduce to you all. That's right, motherfuckers. It's your motherfucker Jack Kamen in this bitch. This motherfucker is a bounty hunter with the chasers. During the day, he tracks down missing children and dangerous criminals for fun and profit. But when it comes time to chill, Jack just likes to smoke motherfuckers and kill cigars. But for all you motherfuckers that already know him, I guess I don't need to tell you that. Cause you're all dead! Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack is one tough cookie, ex-marine special ops and expert in all forms of kicking that ass. In other words, just what we looking for here at the Death Watch games. But there's only one problem, Jack's not here to play the game. No, this motherfucker's chasing tail. Hey, Naomi, it's you. Naomi and Boris. This fine motherfucker, as you all know, is the daughter of Farragut City's Emperor. Uh, I mean, Mayor Boris. Jack's here at the mayor's request to rescue his daughter. Oh, ain't that shit sweet? You know what the problem with fame is? Jack, look out. Groupies. should we put on him? One million. And change the money line for the audience to minus 200 on the contestants, plus 300 on Jack. One million motherfucking dollars to the one who bags Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! A bounty on a bounty hunter? Clever. de los experimentos científicos más arriesgados. Todo aquel lo suficientemente estúpido como para bajar a estas mazmorras se arriesga a acabar con un electrodo metido en el culo y seis tetas de cerdo cosidas en la espalda. O siete. ¿Eh? Siete tetas de cerdo. A mí me pusieron una en la barriga. Ese tengo que verlo. Thank you. 